and then we're going to start again. Now, I'm going to put my glove back on. It's kind of funny you would think that a guy running around uh, Wisconsin in below zero weather with no uh, pants on, you know, would not be afraid of the cold. But there are two uh, parts of my, uh, I guess, body that get cold. That's my bald spot on top of my head. You know, you can't really see that because I got an orange stocking cap on and my hands. And the, I love irony, you know. I, I can't wait to get to be good friends with the English teacher that I met in the in the chat room the other day because I love to write. I love to write even more than I love to make random videos in the snow. I love to write. And uh, I have freezing hands all the time. And so does my friend Miss Popsicle Paws. Now, in order to protect everybody's safety that I love, usually I use like uh, secret code names or pseudonyms for everybody. And uh, I need to find an adjective to put in front of librarian. I've just realized this. You know, lovely librarian, eh, that might be taken the wrong way. But, you know, the, the, oh, some dog poo. Don't step in that. I'm sure you really wanted to see that. But, uh, the Lord's Librarian, that might be nice. You know, that has, that has a little ring to it, you know. Uh, but I'll think of something. Uh, I don't have my thinking cap on now. This cap is just basically to keep my head warm. But, uh, yeah, cold hands, warm heart. <sighs> Miss Popsicle Paws is a dear friend of mine. Uh, we're, not, we're not a boyfriend, we're not a girlfriend, we're just, we're just friends. And uh, I'm, I'm making up a new journal for her. She works with me at uh, the same place I do. We met. And she just has an overwhelming compassion for people, for helping people. And it just speaks to me. I mean, um, some people just do the good work of God without even trying. She's one of those people that's just a natural at it. It comes easy for her. So uh, I'll probably do a little bit of writing in this. Uh, maybe before or after confession but I think this is my street I'm still kind of new to the area and I'm terrible 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 at maps and geography I think I'm looking for Western Street and that is Western Street so it won't be long and I'll be standing in front of my church and I'll get to show it to you and chances are pretty good maybe you've even gotten there there are two big uh, Catholic churches in Nina uh, St. Gabriel's, and I don't know the name of the other one, but I know the other one has 24-hour uh, adoration in a chapel, and I need to find that place because I do like spending time in church, even when there's nobody there. Uh, it feels good uh, to light vigil candles again, and I light a, a vigil candle every time I come to Mass for my friend um, that is still near and dear to my heart. I'm guessing it's going to be quite some time before all thoughts, you know, or might be, you know, for the rest of your life that you carry the thoughts of your boyfriend in your heart with you. Because when you love someone, that's what happens. Every little thing reminds you of them. So, uh, I really wish you well with that. I wish you well with that. And uh, talking to Carl, who definitely seems to be one of the nicest and the wisest and most sincere gents on the internet dating site Catholic Match. You know, I asked him, you know, what should I do, you know, with regards to you? You know, I really wanted to reach out and give you a gesture of fellowship and brotherhood. And he said, eh, just, you know, give her some space. And uh, what I plan to do is I'll put... Uh, I'll probably put these videos on YouTube. I made a, a new YouTube account called Kind Random Acts. That's the name of the username on YouTube. And what I'll do is I think I'll just put these videos on there. And I'll tell you that I made something for you. And I won't tell you what it is. And then you can... Uh, and when you're ready, I'll say, hey, whenever you're ready, I'll give it to you. And then I'll just give you the links to that video, and then you can watch them. And I don't know, after that, maybe I'll just delete them, you know. 
the thing is this isn't uh, a publicity stunt this isn't uh, you know reality TV this is a sincere attempt for one brother in, in Jesus to help a sister in Jesus you know through hard times because I'm, I'm going through a lot of pain right now I really am I uh, it's hard to get that blanket off you in the morning I lift a lot of weights I jump rope today for an hour hear that music that's the soundtrack from Legends of the Fall I have a, a TV in uh, my garage with a DVD player I jumped rope for half for an hour watching Legends of the Fall today freezing my uh, baducus off but uh, still even as as powerful as I might be physically that blanket in the morning weighs about 10,000 pounds right now it's just so hard to push that blanket off of me sometimes especially in February I was doing all right, you know, when it was in January, but now that February's here and Valentine's Day is right around the corner again, ugh, it just sucks. It just sucks. You know, because, and here's, here's, here's the, the funny thing. You probably think, what's this guy doing spending all this time on the internet? I took a big, big, big uh, batch of vacation so that I could go down and, and see see my girl and spend time with her and you know if things went well maybe even talking to her her father about asking a big question and and now none of that's gonna happen it's not none of that's gonna happen so I'm gonna be sitting around being Mopezilla this whole uh, Valentine season and that's kind of kind of depressing and I know with that holiday looming around the corner it's probably a really hard time for you too so I'm gonna do my best you know to be gentle in my uh, desire to help you out and to make it known to you that you're just an amazing amazing young lady and um, you know so much about the Catholic Church and I'm really impressed by that like I, I talk about these code names and I have uh, a code name that I use all the time and I've used for tons and tons of years and I do not speak that name but Walnut Grove would be the code name that I would use to describe myself because I come from Amro and you probably know where Amro is if you've lived in Nina and that's a small town with about I don't know it probably has 4,000 people in it now but it was tiny and we had a tiny little church with uh, not very many people in it and everything was so simple you know growing up at that church and learning about God and right and from right from wrong and just you know stepping into the world of Catholic matches opened my eyes that there is a lot a lot more to things than meets the eye and I think you know, St. Gabriel is the patron saint of diplomats and messengers. And I really think that you are a messenger, my librarian friend. And I think I am too. Maybe you and I are just different in the messages that we give. But there's no, no doubt that you have a message that's a good one. And uh, I, I, I want you to keep sharing it. I don't want you to be, you know underneath that 10,000 pound blanket so all right here I am now the a big ethical question is it illegal to take a video camera into the house of the Lord well I've done it many times I've done it many times and I don't even know if it's open yet but uh, all right thank you I hope uh, this little tour of Nina cheers you up I really do, and uh, I will be in touch, gently of course, and uh, I'm hoping that on my way home I find that uh, green cigarette pack so I can talk about that another time. All right, bless you my friend, and uh, may God's peace be with you this day and every day, and I hope I see you very soon. Well, maybe not see you, because trust me, you don't want to see me, but uh, 
talk to you and get to know you and know your spirit.